Hey, this is Seth Rosenblum, and I'm going to show you how to play Papa Ain't Salty by T-Bone Walker. This song was recorded in the mid-50s, appears on uh, T-Bone Blues, uh, and a lot of cool things with this song. T-Bone Walker has influenced so many players because of his way of playing the pentonic and playing a lot of these lines, and this song exhibits it fully. So, uh, what it has is the rhythm parts really exhibit how walking bass and different kinds of uh, uptown and downtown shuffle patterns can work in a blues. We go between a few different rhythm parts and it's going to give you some real variety in your rhythm playing. Then in the lead playing, it's a lot of T-Bone's most kind of ferocious, faster playing and it shows how good he was at pushing and pulling time playing over the bar lines, and also playing some really interesting sounding licks without going too far outside of the main pentatonic position. So in this lesson package, I'm going to show you the authentic to the record rhythm guitar parts. Also the solos, there's one at the beginning, then one in the middle. There's also a really cool call and response section that we'll go over in the lead parts and the rhythm parts. And then even if you're just getting started, I've put together an easy rhythm guitar part that shows you some of the great ideas of T-Bone Walker, but that you can get playing with the track very, very quickly. Now you'll see I have a hollow body here and T-Bone Walker, mid 50s played an ES5 with the P90s so Gibson hollow body he was playing probably into some sort of Fender amp I'm playing into a super reverb using the bridge pickup for those leads the neck pickup rolled off on the tone for the rhythm parts and that'll get you somewhere pretty close to the authentic sound so if you're ready to get learning on this awesome song by T-Bone Walker grab your guitar and let's go